to teachers i can understand things who have five years old students so that's what i'm just want to say so hello students the thing that many thing that we are training which is trying to give you is that is integrity what is means is it this is the cg what the cg passes and some load is happening some distance from there that is called the eccentric because it's not in the center there is a distance between them so it's used to join transformation so now how eccentric loading so basically not a five year but some year so you have seen in the song when a load is applied in some distance and we can get this in here this is the full structure but there is also a moment that moment will work and how the secondary force you are coming so suppose it's a banner here due to this force how this force will work on these things secondary that so this force will try to go this side this was the side to be side this force is to this side and this force is this side that's how the secondary load so eccentric loading so eccentric loading primary load and secondary load same way so you know that primary loading is uh, not simple these are the primary loading primary loading two things if the axis along the axis then that is like it's the along the axis that is elongation but perpendicular to the cross section that is shearing load that is applying now the system consists of n identical element so like n identical element like 1 2 3 4 this type of f1 fp2 fp3 f4 so a by n fp primary load that is a by n secondary load that's how we said that is the load then this is the load how it's like what length is this this and the distance between r1 so the moment is fs1 into r fs2 by r fs3 by r that's how it's the now secondary load parallel to cost section so shading and effect elongation you know previously so here the y the distance between them so how the distance distance more the secondary load effect is more distance less secondary load effect is from so if it is final load secondary load proportional to r this e into r we can also write that e into r or c into r so now c equal to what is e into e is equal to m by r1 plus r1 to r2 that's how now eccentric loading there is an angle between those primary and secondary loads that's what i have been shown here this is the eccentricity eccentricity distance between here you know central element and cg distance now for the element one so like first derivative that is the reverse so secondary force is working like this primary force is working that primary force is sharing because it's a parallel to the cross section and secondary force also sharing because it's also parallel to the cross section the angle between both of these there is an angle of theta so that's how it's the formula that is coming and secondary force we have seen that fc by n we can say in f into e by r1 plus r2 fc into r1 r2 those into r the primary distance the more the distance the more will be the load okay so that's how things are been there